Grace and Peace, Things I Wish I'd Said. This one comes out of If Grace is True from uh, Gully and Mulholland. So uh, chapter two in Trusting Our Experience with God. I believe God will save every person. Those aren't easy words to accept, especially if, like me, you grew up believing some would be saved, but most would be damned. It took me many years for my belief to change. God had to overcome my objections. I resisted because such extravagant grace wasn't the traditional teaching of the church. It wasn't the usual interpretation of scripture. It wasn't the formula I'd been taught. My belief changed only as I recognized the grace I'd experienced was not limited or conditional. I know a God of boundless love. I'd never experienced a God of wrath. I had had such a God preached. I've read of such a God. I've encountered wrathful people who claimed to be acting on God's behalf. I even allowed such sentiments to tarnish my view of God. Yet in the midst of all of those distortions, I never experienced a wrathful God. The God I experienced is the God of Jesus, a God of unlimited patience, infinite love, eternal faithfulness, Jesus described a God who waits long through the night with a light lit and the door open, confident his most defiant child will one day realize his love and return toward home. Jesus revealed a God who loves the unlovable, touches the untouchable, and redeems those beyond redemption. He said, as the Father has loved me, so I love you. That from John 15, 9. My earliest experiences are with the love of Jesus. I pray that that is an experience that you have had. It has been the experience I have had. It's not a wrathful God I encounter, wrathful people. Yes, but not a wrathful God. Humans do pretty yucky, wrathful, poopy kinds of things. But God is a God of love and patience and kindness. And man, a lot of the things that are in here I wish I'd said. Amen. Oh,